A yeah. guaranteed step into I, I didn't think so on no. that. It did. Sorry. Let's take I miss, the uh, I said that. vote. Mark Thiecoff, yes. Steve Miller, yes. Barbara Howard, yes. Anderson's no. Okay, no. Lawrence Tilly, no. Okay, we're done with that one. Obviously, it's going to stay the way it is. Right. The other one was in technology, right? And it's all about the children, right? <laughs> Lining the pocket. Got to go to technology. Being consistent with the high school. Line 57380. Motion that we reduce that line to zero. Is that new equipment? That's 20 computers, two servers, and two printers. Wait, wait, you're what? Computer you, replacement. What, you're, you're doing what? Reducing the computer replacement to zero. Second. You did that up the high school? Yeah. Now, the re here's the reason behind it. The, um, the high school is on like a four-year cycle. The, we had somewhat expert testimony, somebody who does, does it for a living, saying that it's not critical that in this economic environment, you cannot push that cycle off to five years. The technology is not as exponential as it was five years ago, four years ago, or three years ago. Whose expert opinion was that? Jay, Jay Landry. Or, yeah, it's Paul. Jay. He's, Paul. A, he's, Paul. An, he's, an, he's an IT manager. For the okay. state. state. For the state. Okay. okay, and he's the server administrator for the state of New Hampshire, or something like that. Okay, and uh, it is, it's one of those things it, that's great if, if, like when the plan was originally initiated, the economics of the community was exactly the same. Everybody was really trucking along, they were getting regular raises, they were getting regular bonuses, etc. We're not saying that we're going to do it next year again or year after that, but Pushing it from a four-year cycle to a five-year cycle is not critical. That's the, that's the rationale. But what about server space? Isn't that critical? That's a new server, right? Two yeah. new servers? You have them now, right? If it's four two new servers, no. then we don't have them now. We you, 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 you've done it a year without it. What's another year? That's what, that's what I would say would Fresh be the critical burn. piece. Right. The I, mean, I can see maybe probably... doing, out with some, doing without some computers, but the server How space... How much is I the server? That I don't server. know, but I would think the servers would be more important. I think server prices she good. estimates about $5,000 for server. Okay, I'll amend my motion to take out $23,300 and leave $10,000 for two servers. Second. Could you survive without computers but servers? What do you think? I think I would have to call Mrs. McLeod and find out more, more of the specifics about what, what the greatest area of need is. Well, you're going to vote no anyways because... <laughs> Server. Well, no, I understand. I, 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 I hear what I you're would, saying. I have a techie for a husband too, so I, I would tend to say that a server is probably going to be more yes. crucial than yes. yeah. another computer. I'm happy to go with the server. I, I, but I would like, I would certainly like to get Pam McLeod. Usually, you back up. Yeah, you need back. Can you call her now? She. Call her. I don't have her phone. Hi. Oh, so you're committing um, to next year. Question. You're going to support. You're going to support the computers. To two, st to two servers for $10,000. He's saying next year you're going to support that. the computer. I'm inclined to. I'm, uh, I'm, I won't be on the board on the year after that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inclined to do it. So, yeah. inclined. And the reality well, is. Well, I don't know what the budget's going to come in at. Wait a minute. That technology line can be fully bloated by that time. I don't, I'm just saying if, if the same increases in the technology line came through, right, I'm inclined to vote for the um, uh, computers next year. I think you got to have them one day. I think one, the one taxpayers year. bear the responsibility to have some technology exposure to the children. We don't need to be cutting edge and ahead of the, the ball game all the way. And we've been cutting edge at the elementary and at the high school. So this is right. a conservative. Yes. Call the vote. Compromise. Lawrence well, Tilly, yes. Mark D. Coff, yes. Steve Miller, yes. Barbara Howard, yes. Lauren Kai, yes. So that line is now. Did you want to go ahead and say. Linda, <laughs> Linda. <laughs> Linda? Well, I don't vote no for the heck of it. <laughs> that line now is 10,000. Did she say yes or no? <laughs> no. She said no. Yeah, I, I have another issue. Unless you, you, you want to go? The other one would be, uh, if you wanted to do the same, would be the smart boards. Hmm? Yep. Can, I mean, I'm just going to step in and, and 
mentioned that the smart boards that are in here are specifically going to work with our new proposed math program. Okay, keep them in. Yep. Thank you. No Thank problem. You. Thank you. Keep them. Thank you. Okay. I'd like to bring something up for um, discussion. I'll do it by making a motion that we eliminate the director of curriculum to zero. I'll second that motion. The position? The position. Uh, the amount of money that's allocated. I can't. What, why is what somebody, line is that? Or which? Uh, do, in it's in the salary line. Um, it's in the salary um, line. Um, and I'll tell, you, I'll, tell, I'll tell you why. Okay. But first of all, the high school doesn't have a director of curriculum. They have department heads. Okay. They don't, you, have, uh, you don't have anybody handling the math department? No. Nobody? Director the director, director of, instruction. of instruction does everything. He, the director of instruction takes care of all the department heads? And everything. The, we don't have department heads. The no, director of instruction. Meetings. Okay, wait a minute. So the department heads are cheaper. Anyway, the ra the, here's, the ration, here's the ration. But the director of instruction also is our Title I director. We used to have a, a Title I director who taught a little bit and was the Title I director. When the Title I director left, I took that position and expanded it to not just be reading and a little bit of math, to look big picture at our entire curriculum so that we could assure that we had alignment across the curriculum and interrelated within the curriculum. That's what that position does. It also still does the Title I program. Okay, that so position coordinates pre-K to 8, hopefully works with Barnstead and with Prospect Mountain to look at all of our curricula all of the subject areas, all of the grade levels. Mm -hmm. Our team leaders are looking more at what the teams do and how they work with Sydney. Oh, wait a minute. So you have a team leader that a team leader of the math department, correct? No. No? no? Okay, third no, grade, 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 level. Grade, grade. By grade. Their job uh, is to do together. more their job is to do more communication of team needs with Sydney. They're not as much focused on the curriculum piece as they are with things such as student needs, issues related in that way. Director of Instruction deals with curriculum, instruction, assessment, and classroom environment. And professional what development. Is professional the pay, what is the pay It is amazing how complicated right. education has become. Go ahead. Thank you. What is the pay premium that a director of curricula gets over a teacher with the same experience? Um, In other words, well, you know the difference. You, that's, you're the director of curriculum. Yes. Right? How much more did you get as a director of curriculum versus when you were just teaching? I can tell you that it was less per diem than I was making teaching. There's an Pardon? additional 10 days to the um, job description. Job description. Mm -hmm. Uh, is the director of curriculum making more or less than you made when you were director? Less. Am I allowed to say, or is that personnel? Well, I got to know how much to. No, if I'm going to. It's fine. Yeah. Less. <coughs> making less. Yes. Okay, and the, the last question is, right? Would it be cheaper to pay a department head fifteen hundred dollars stipend, which they do at? A two thousand, two thousand dollars stipend, which they do at the high school, right? As opposed to pay a director of curriculum, and therefore you have more teachers with skin in the game that way. The the difference is that at the high school you can release a person from a class to do that for each subject. We don't have the ability to do that. We need those teachers teaching all of the time, and. And well, at a high school, you have a very small group. You have 9 through 12 teaching, so there's a consistency of instruction. Ours deals, our director of instruction deals pre-K to 8. Generally speaking, a classroom teacher teaches, if they're going to teach, they're not going to get the time to get out of their instructional area, such as let's say we decided a third grade teacher was going to be the math person. For her or him to get the time to work with all of those grades and do that instructionally is very, very hard. I thought, uh, the, teachers, I thought the teachers 
all got um, one free period a day. That's what we were told. So that that free period is for for planning and one. coordination. And they need they need five periods a week for planning and coordination. Yes. And then what time they have to spend at home? <laughs> and after school. Okay. Now I'm going to guess that the director of curriculum total cost is a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, with insurance. Absolutely. Oh. That's a hundred thousand. I will tell you that Jay is hoping to get a director of curriculum, and I will tell you that it would be nicer to have one up at the high school and do it K twelve. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying, from, a, from, an, nice economic, from an economic from an economic standpoint, which is, Alton, but. Mm -hmm. I'm not on the school board. Mm -hmm. My job here is the budget is the budget committee. Instead of a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars, right? Because the department manager slash whatever you want to call that person um, is already on the books for benefits, and because you could probably pay, you pay five people five thousand dollars a piece, for instance or eight people, $5,000 a piece, $30,000, uh, that's a lot less than $100,000. That is a $70,000 savings you know, from the school. <laughs> but you still need the Title I person exactly. anyhow. We still need uh, plus yeah. you end up with a mismatch of people who have turf wars over what the instruction is, who's most important, do I talk with so-and-so over such and such about curriculum. That's a management issue. That's a management issue, but it it's eliminated by having a person who deals with it as a big oh, picture. Oh, sure. $100,000 can eliminate a lot of management issues. It's very important. I would just speak from the experience yeah. of having been in the position. Mm -hmm. It's incredibly important to the school to have somebody who can oversee the big picture of curriculum, instruction, assessment, professional development, Title I, entitlement grants, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the days are extremely full. One person for the K to three teachers to run to when they have big issue items, they're doing the K to three teachers do every subject. Grade four is. I withdraw my motion. I can't believe what you just said about turf wars and all that. These are the teachers that are teaching the children and they behave like that. These are the professionals with <coughs> master's degrees who are so dedicated to our children and they can't even behave to coordinate and, and cooperate to teach they will oh it's what they want mind. what's best for they, if they have a if they have a, my focus is math i will focus in on math but i also uh, back my, my yeah message. so okay, we're done discussing yeah. that one i got another one um summer school i make a recommendation that we cut the summer school line to zero, that we tuition, it, we, tu we tuition summer school, and my belief is that by charging parents tuition, that'll be incentive enough that they won't have to go to summer school. What if, are you doing with if, special me, ed kids? If, if special ed kids are, for, for, for kids with special circumstances, I have no problem setting up a scholarship type of account but they're mandated to have some i understand so they're not that's in a different function that's a Linda. legal issue my mandate in the high school doesn't have a summer school there's, a, there's extended year programs he's just talking about oh. summer school just for just clarification yeah, just there, the well, 1430 we have money and extended oh. program in 1205 well there's an extended Sorry. year program at the high school and there is one here yeah, yeah. i'm not talking, talking about that education i'm just yeah. we're talking summer school i believe that if you if you if it's known that you that if your kid fails and he has to Go, he has to go to summer school and that there will be a tuition involved, that it will be incentive enough, That'll be an, that will incentivize the parent, right, to, uh, to, to, take, to start owning that situation him or herself. And I don't think it should be dismissed out of hand because the cost is not, significant, is not huge on an individual, individual child basis. And I'm a firm believer there should be a fund in case a needy person okay. just has to go and there is no money and there is no money there. I, I guess that we did speak about this a little bit before. My, my biggest concern is that if we do that, uh, we won't get the population of students that we need in summer school because the parents 
if they don't qualify for the scholarship, why would I pay that money anyway? It's not the same as the high school where you have to have a certain number of credits to be able to graduate. The same rules don't apply for K through eight elementary. Um, and believe me, I, I was a high school teacher for 10 years. And, and I know what those kids will do when it comes time to you know graduate or not graduate. And yes, you will pay the money and you'll go to summer school. The same just doesn't apply to K through eight and the summer school population that we reach, I believe is one that we probably wouldn't get if we had to ask them to pay. Mm -hmm. How much is in that? 16,700. I think some parents would be prone to say okay, give make, it back. Okay, my, mo my motion is to reduce the summer school line by $6,769 and, so, and, and you have an opportunity to tuition to get, you know, tuition to charge tuition to get them in there. What's that leave as a balance in there, Steve? That leaves a balance of $10,000. I left the round number in there because okay. I don't know Thank how much you. until somebody tells me I need, you know, $8,000. I call the vote. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you tell oh. me what, what was cut? Yeah. 6000 But you have to gross budget. So even if you cut this money, it's that's you're talking about revenue. You still got to put money in here before they can tuition tuition it. Oh, is that? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's like we do with the federal funds. You got to show the appropriation, the matching. See what I'm saying? You've got a gross budget, so you can't. If if you what you're doing is they can't Co collect the tuition without the revenue. So right. showing without up without the revenue. Right. Okay. We have and, to show and, that on the and that's side. not something you're willing to do. Well, no. We just need to have you. Okay. Okay. Well, what, I'll leave the. Okay. I'll take back my motion. First of all, because that's, well, that's the good. The way point. the driver ed is done up at the high school. So the only way you can do that is put a petition warrant article in mm -hmm. that there will be revenue. There will be tuition <clears throat> for summer school. You can do okay. a warrant article. Yeah. Right. The non-lapsing fund. Yeah. That summer school shall be. Okay. Self-supporting or whatever, right? Yeah. Well, it's, a non, it's a non-lapsing, yeah. revolving account. Mm -hmm. We can review this after the public hearing. Yeah, I'll have Oh, one. no, he has to have the petition article before. Yeah. That can go with the petition article. can go. And if he has that by then, then we can review this number I'll after. Get, I'll get it by the next meeting. I'll get it by the next meeting, okay? Right. Does that include transportation for some school? Huh? The 16,000 includes transportation for some yeah, school? Yeah, that's on a separate line. Oh, that's a separate one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Which I can't believe we do. It's tuition. I mean, it's transportation. I'm telling you, that will incentivize at least half the parents to get those kids. It, but I'm more inclined to worry anyway. about the, parent, the, fa the parents or the children, I should say, that would go to summer school um, because they could use the catch-up work. But as soon as a parent has to pay out of pocket, especially, you know, as you keep bringing up with the economic conditions, if my child is doing a C grade right now, you know, and I have to pay for, you know, transportation and have to pay for, you know, tuition, okay, they'll, they'll, I won't worry about them trying to get a B, the C is good enough. That's the parent's decision. That's your decision. Yeah. That would Do they be recommend my for summer school or a C? Oh, we recommend for summer school, but we cannot force students right. to go. And that's, that's a, Family cultural decision, which is really none of any of our business. If they decide that, that's their business. Of course, the drawback is that then we pay the price when our test scores go down. But yeah, and they grow up and go to work and argue with all their coworkers. <laughs> Sorry, I, I guess I digress. again, I just you know my concern. We've talked a lot about the economic times, worrying about are you going to pay your mortgage, are you going to pay your heat. I think summer school would summer be school. pretty low on the list in those things. You know, when people right, are deciding what to. Back, so. <laughs> <laughs> yep. okay. Warren, I'll go the Warren article way. Um, on this, in the superintendent's line, under advertising, the high school spends $2,400 a year, and you spend $9,500 a year. Do you have some? I, I did contact Chuck Stewart, the business administrator up there, and he said, and I quote you, I've, we very rarely advertise. They use Ed Jobs. Okay. Ed Jobs is a one-time fee based on how many students we participate with Ed Jobs, but we also feel that it is in the best interest interest of the district to advertise in other outside papers. No, the, the best interest of the district is to take ninety-five hundred dollars, or that less twenty-four hundred dollars, take seven thousand dollars, right, and hire a recruiter to go after good people instead of collecting resumes. 
But it also doesn't just do job vacancies. It also does bids. It also does legal requirements oh, that we that's have what to. That's the 2400. Which which prospect doesn't have to go out and and do. We have to. We have to post legally a lot of our public hearings. Prospect doesn't because they're not technically okay. a public school. So there are definitely some avenues that we have to, we do have to advertise. I'm not saying that the money doesn't need to be cut, but I'm saying we have legitimate reasons why we're spending more than they are. Make a motion we cut the um, advertisement line by $2,500 to $7,000. I'll second that motion. You're on page 21 of 39? Yes. To 2500 no. Cut, uh, cut it uh, $2,500 to 7000 How much did they spend last year? Was 2011 an oddball year? Because you got $9,500, you sp actual. Was it an oddball year? I mean, why was it more, or was it low, or? Well, I think it's still too much for advertising. I think, I think. Hey, call the vote. Steve Miller, yes. Pepper Howard, yes. Lawrence Tillett, yes. Mark Tikoff, yes. I, I just have a pro If they spent 9500 how are we cutting? The issue is every time. the line. Yeah. I we think they're overspending that line. Because we have the school right next to us. You know, they can't do $7,000 of extra, of extra um, advertising. Warren Kai, yes. Warren Articles. Public hearings, SB2 town. Bids. Bids, yes. You, you no. need a vote. No. No. Um, we pay um, over at the high school $1,300 for Saturday yes. detention. Now, I know we don't have Saturday detention here. We, so yes, we, not, do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Oh, we do? Intervention yeah. on yeah, Saturday. Yeah, intervention. Yeah. Uh, you have Saturday detention? What's the cost, cost of Saturday detention? Intervention. 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 It is. Saturday remediation, I think, is the yeah. actual term yeah. that we have in the handbook. Mm -hmm. um, Kathy, where would that be broken out? I'm not sure. That is $2,400. Page. Okay, I'm going to start off by. Page. It is on the page in front of the, or the 1100 account under staffing. Saturday and mm -hmm. AM intervention, $2,400. Make a motion that we reduce Saturday intervention detention to zero from $2,400. The, be, the reason being is this. There are a myriad of ways to use discipline and the carrot stick approach. I, I don't think that ha, ha, forcing somebody to come in on a Saturday versus coming in early or, come, or staying later during the week is worth the extra money. I think that you could look to replacing that with some uh, other tool. I'm not, a, uh, I'm not a teacher, so I don't know what that tool is, but there are a lot of schools that don't have Saturday detention, and they handle it different ways. So I would like to see, is there any other associated costs with that, benefits or anything like that? With the 2400? FICA and all that? Yes. Yeah. There would be some FICA and... And okay, so there's benefits, what, and, what, and what about um, uh, transportation? No. No. Okay, so the parents have to pick them up and drop them off. Yes. So they can go back and forth Saturdays if they have to, okay? And, you know, it would, you know would, make, would made me think about it is uh, reading in the paper how it's not, it's not working up at the high school. So I, whether it works or not, I'd like you to find a different way to do it. That's my motion. Is there a second? Barbara second, is it right? Yep. Thank you. What's, uh, what's done during that time that, you know, as I said, you know. Usually what happens is um, the student will either be given a one, two, three, or four hour Saturday remediation. Um, if you talk to the kids, they'll, talk, they'll call it a Saturday detention. But what usually happens is a notice goes out to each student who's been assigned to it to all of the teachers and the teachers submit work for the student to do during those four hours, if it's up to four hours. They could take that work home and it could be demanded that they return it. They do it over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So which line would that come out of? That would that'd just be, come out of the salary, be salary line. line. Salary. So, and 
And then it would be the associated costs? And, the so and I I'd leave it to the business manager to figure out what the benefits would be on that. All right, take the vote. And Can I ask a question? The Does the principal, do you think this works? Does Saturday detention work? Well, I think what, the first thing I should say is that this is a school board decision, ultimately, if they would still like to keep Saturday remediation. What would be your recommendation to the school board? Um, <laughs> right on I got a question. Do you have wait, 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 wait. You're asking me if I serve Saturday down what afternoon detention I chose. I Do you think speed so limit signs work? Do I think what? Speed limit signs work? Sure. <laughs> Well, ticketing for speed limit signs. I haven't seen anybody work. go 100 miles an hour mm -hmm. through the traffic circle. It must help a little I think bit. For the amount I, 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 I there, wait, just think there might be other, there was a question, uh, other there was, options. Well, yeah. There was a question that was asked. I want to hear your answer, too, Sydney. What? I want to hear your answer, too. Okay. <laughs> well, I will say that, um, first of all, it is a school board decision. It's not my decision, but I will. Um, I do not have the data to back up whether it works or not. but. But I do agree that there can be alternative ways for students to have to have disciplinary measures. Yeah, and do. I do know sometimes on those Saturday mornings, it is for retakes, too. It's not just That's different. different. That's, That's different. totally different. Okay. Uh, we do have a teacher who's there every Saturday doing makeup work retakes, and that is on that teacher's own time. Okay. Um, helping okay. students <coughs> that that doesn't have anything to do with the Saturday remediation. You have my respect for that answer. Thank you. Thank you. Take the vote. I think kids. Lawrence uh, Tilly, yes. Mark Seacoff, yes. Steve Miller, yes. Barbara Howard, yes. Lauren Kay, yes. Andy Goosens, yes. I hope we don't have a rash of riots down there because of this. <laughs> as long as they don't happen on Saturdays. What? Rash of riots down there because of this. But. By who? But the we, staff or the, the team? I imagine somebody on the staff will be happy to get <laughs> yeah, the Saturdays back to Rumbles. I hope we don't have any rumbles down Stop there. But isn't that why we We're have the uh, elementary resource kids officer? Kids getting up early, Monday through Friday. Isn't that why we, we have the resource officer? All week long, <laughs> Saturday, let them stay home. Yeah. Anyways, believe it, believe it or not, that's all I've got. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I hear that again? Uh, all right. Nine thirty. If you had any more, we're going to give you detention. So. <laughs> no, no money. Only Much more, year. it will be detention. <laughs> yeah. So we'll have to get together to go over stuff, huh? Yeah. Yep. Maybe. Again. Yeah. Uh, we've got to make a date for next meeting. I'd be interested in. Uh, just don't make it a Friday night when I had no the, kids uh, and I scheduled a school board meeting with a high school. Discussion. Oh yeah. My wife got rid of the kids and I didn't know. <laughs> uh, oh. I, want, I'm gonna I don't know what date night is. <laughs> I'm still bringing up dues and fees. Right. You, yeah. You've got to. Right. All right. Thank you. So, so, when are you you're gonna wait until um, the? Well, you tell me when we can look at a contract. I'd like to look at it a week before the. Well, I can't tell you that, but. So then if we don't get, get to look at it, if we don't get to look at the contract until the day of it, you're not going to have our opinion until after. Okay. Well, I'm just saying the final vote on the contract you're going to do after the hearing. Yeah. Okay. I just needed to know. Uh, well, it all depends when we get it. If we get it no, no, next no, the, week, you know. Uh, did I say contract? I meant yeah. budget. Yeah. yeah. But, I'm sorry, budget. Yeah, Yep. How do you want to handle that? Because obviously I, I don't like doing things on the fly, so I want to be prepared, and I want a <laughs> well, check and balance wait. situation going on so that the two of us I, can, I can be I can, I can have dues and fees ready tomorrow. I mean, make a meeting whenever you want. Regarding the so do we fees, want another we meeting, or do you down? want us to get together about the approved cuts that have already been made, and then yeah, I can I figure what the bottom line for each function turns into by doing that summary sheet. Well, we're going to need a meeting for the dues and fees to figure that okay. out. Okay. Do you want to meet tomorrow about the dues and fees? Mm -hmm. That's Friday. I no way. I'm not Steve doing another had Friday. Question. No, Steve had questions for me about dues and fees he had said. So. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to be in Massachusetts tomorrow. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh you've got the tension. <laughs> Regarding the uh, dues and fees, I mean, you know, in our job, we do have some that we pay out of pocket and some that we're reimbursed on, on you know, and the ones that we're reimbursed on, I still feel, you know, both personal benefit but also, you know, right. company oh. benefit as well. Is yeah. there, it's going to, it's really a fine line and a difficult one to draw. Is there a way to get 
you know, breaking out the acronyms, what does this mean and yep. how can somebody justify how does it directly help? Well, I think, I think there's two different things that you're going to see in dues and fees. One is you're going to see subscriptions to things, you know, which we talked about, things like technology subscriptions, library and media, those are called dues and fees. But I think probably what you're talking about a little bit more are the professional and dues and fees. Um, as far as my experience in the school, we've been pretty strict about not allowing those for personal use because, believe me, I tried. Um, because some of I my, turned her down. <laughs> yes, and Mrs. Holt continuously turned me down because some of my dues and fees are pretty hefty. Um, and no, the district wouldn't pay for them. And so we really very carefully assess what the school gets out of it. Um, I can give you a couple of examples if you want to hear them. Wait, I did give you the principal's example with the listserv. I can call the principal's association with. Um, well, can concerns. I make a suggestion? Sure. Would you go over the list mm -hmm. and would you would you give us your recommendation? Sure. Of, of which ones you feel would be more appropriate for the teachers to base so we can be consistent with both schools. Yep. That'd be fine. Absolutely. Okay. And but I don't think I'm going to find any in there because we really are. I will. I absolutely will. But we are pretty strict about that. I'm so, but you got to look at technology too. My God, you know. Those are probably mostly. You're looking at subscriptions for technology for okay. things like a, a web-based program. Yep. Do you say this? If you say this, not I understand that it be none. I can I can tell you one example. Going through the budget process this year, we had a question about um, our guidance dues and fees because there is a National Guidance Association. And we did do some research with the guidance counselors um, specifically for liability because there is liability with guidance. Um, they, were, they were concerned that they needed a certain level of dues and fees paid for by the district because it would cover them for working with the district. We researched it and we found out that we were already covered and we did not need to pay those dues and fees for them. So if they wanted to join that association, they would have to on their own. Um, we really do look pretty carefully at those. The music one, for example, we pay the dues and fees specifically so that we can attend the regional competitions. I think I that's know, I'm, 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 yeah. I'm comfortable you know. that the line is under control, dues and fees. Okay. I, I want to answer. Okay. I, okay. I made a statement to Barbara that I was not going to pay the New Hampshire school administrators if it was on me because I benefit in no way personally. Okay. I do personally join the national organization because I personally benefit. Okay, I get a magazine. I read that magazine. The district does not pay that, and I pay that to the tune of about $450. That I personally benefit from. And I mean, I, I feel badly saying that I don't benefit from the New Hampshire school administrators, but that gets me things that the only benefit I get is what I learn and how it works for this district as far as the legislation. When I walk out of here, the legislation is not something I sit at home and deal with. I just question the need for, for knowing, and I know at some levels we need to know what's going on nationally, but really, you know, I mean, we're all, we, we can look at regionally, we can look at statewide, and that's what should be the most concerning to us. And we can get all that information without joining national this, national that. You know, you've got, You've got your local, local dues and fees, then your state local, state fees, and then there's national fees. It's and just, I pay the it's, national. It's redundant. Yeah. Yeah. I pay the national. The, the, the rest comes. It's okay. done in a fashion that is, it's, you know, there are 134 bills that were put forward just for education. In, in 20 minutes, it's all taken. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and I agree with what you're saying about, you know, the dues and fees and the benefit to the district. I do agree with it. But I do think that from my 20 years in education, things are moving faster than I've ever seen them. There's a lot going on in education that's right now. the problem with education, and though. <laughs> it is extremely important to catch up and keep up. I, 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 as far as I'm concerned, thank you, thank uh, you. Superintendent. Um, I'm comfortable that's under control. Just for the record, um, on a Okay, out of the paper. Employment rate is high, but not for IT specialists. Which, you know, we had a discussion on uh, you know, diff how difficult it is to get the right IT person. Nationwide, it's a 2.5% unemployment rate versus the 9, 8 point whatever unemployment rate. So you will not have a problem if um, we recommended a cut here, you know, a reduction and you follow through on it. I understand you don't have to. That's the Wall Street Journal, right? Isn't Pardon? That's the Wall Street Journal, right? 
doesn't that? Matter? Yeah, Wall Street Journal. But does it say that there's really good IT people in Alton, New Hampshire? No, but what it's saying is, is it's hard to find IT people. Yeah, that's, that's what, what that I meant. article's saying. No. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a very competitive market. <laughs> so you're not going to cut it. <laughs> okay, so now we. What I'm saying is he'll employment rate take well. the job. <laughs> So, so he'll keep the job for the lack of jobs. So we don't need another meeting no. with the school, no, other than when we have the uh, the hearing, the hearing, or the okay. Warren articles. Can we? Yeah, you and me cuts got and yeah. just you know verify that that way. We're so if I decide to leave work at one afternoon early and swing by, Tools just call you. Yes, yeah, as long as it's not Saturday, Monday through Friday? Wednesday yeah, or that's Thursday fine. Next or Friday. Because I'm tied up with auditors and other And what about the request we've made? You still have to, that we, for the, for the, for the tools and, the and tools everything and like that. that. When could the, we have that information? Uh, if you could leave it. We'll ask him to get that, but seriously, the poor guy has. It's only a few. It'll take him five minutes. You don't have any. We asked him that night. Though. You don't have any. Like and we asked him the next day. I agree. They've had However, a few little building issues. Yeah. He can also do a partial based on, you yeah. know, 25th of December. So well, anytime after Thursday, we're asking right? for Christmas. Yeah, I'm I'm working. Um, the week of Christmas is off on Monday and Friday, so Thursday, th oh, Tuesday through Thursday. Okay. I'm there. And that'd probably be the best time because yeah, be it'd be quiet. Okay. Yep. yep. And I'll if, be breathing. If you could leave that yeah. information in our box. Okay. Yep. I'll get. I'll if you leave at least one. I'll get it sure. all copied for every, anybody to pick up sure. when they come by here. Okay. And you'll make sure they get it. I'm going to leave it there. You sure? You raise your right hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good holiday if we don't see you. Merry Enjoy. Oh, well, no. Now we've got the test. That's right. Oh, that's why he's We're not done. Right. Go back to sleep, Linda. Go home. Yeah. All right. We're going to take a five minute break. At least. I right, call the uh, on budget mini meeting back to order. Hey, which ones do we need to look okay. at? Okay. Um, You would start at uh, 16. Uh, you did vote to recommend that. Yep. But there has been a change on that. Okay, so I'll read it again. Yeah. Article 16, to see if the town will vote to establish a capital reserve fund under the provision of RSA 35-1 for the purpose of funding a police vehicle capital reserve and to raise and appropriate $32,000 to place in the fund this sum to come from the DEA assistant forfeiture asset, fund. Asset. Or asset, sorry, forfeiture funds and no amount to be raised from taxation. Also to avoid, vote to appoint the selectmen as agents to expend for police vehicles. Capital Reserve. A DEA asset forfeiture fund. That's all that drug, all that drug money. Okay, but now here's the rest of the story. You can't spend that DEA money by, by eliminating one of the police vehicles. You, you've got to be by what? You eliminating can't. a police vehicle. You've got to increase the fleet. Okay. Okay. So we also have the issue about when the, we have police detail, you know, uh, flagging, like down at the traffic circle, we have a vehicle running there. So we're going to take one of the old vehicles, put on it traffic control, use the old vehicles instead of the one of the new ones. Okay. And that'll designate, so the f fleet is going to be increasing by this, which if Virgil was here, we would probably be having quite a discussion. And we use, get to use a DEA mob. That's a good idea. Did you, uh... Why can't we buy a bicycle? <laughs> because that would still, you would have to keep the same number of vehicles. You can't trade a vehicle for a bicycle. Then you won't be able to spend the DEA money. Well, we could do a moped for the flagging. Yep, and, and you won't be able to spend the DEA money. Okay. And how much do we have for the DEA money? We have close to 33. So that's, this is all, pretty much all of it. There's supposed to be more coming in the future, but who knows when. So is this every town's getting some of this? No, it's only when you have, your, when your police department is involved with a. Oh, okay. Uh, they, you know, they confiscate yep, the yep. This happened sell about the, three or four years ago. The and they it was a major. Them. Or no, they a what? Drug bust. Or... The major drug bust about three or four years ago. Oh. Yeah. 
That's where you, what, when you confiscate the drugs, you sell them so, on the street and you get the money back. And you <laughs> no, 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 okay, no. We, we pay our police to do their job. They do their job, and then the government takes our tax dollars and gives it to the police department and holds us hostage and tells us we have to increase our fleet in order to use the money that's the reward for the police who get paid to do their job. No, the assets that they seized it's from the, the money bad from person. The drug dealers. They take no, the tax drug dealers' property. They auction everything off. So why off. are we raising and appropriating money from tax dollars if it's coming We're from not. the drug dealers? Not. No We're dollars not. to be raised no from dollars. taxation. Okay. I didn't read that, and I'm sorry. I'm a little tired and cranky. I apologize. <laughs> it's not constant. It's okay. Let's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Call the vote. Yeah. Mark Dekoff, yes. Lawrence Tilly, yes. Steve Miller, yes. Barbara Howard, yes. Okay, yes. Alright, so far. Hang in there. Seventeen. I am. I'm Seventeen sorry. is to the kerosene. That one we already did. Right. We added kerosene. We added kerosene. You didn't change the number though. No. No. Okay. Uh twenty-three. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of twenty thousand dollars to be placed in the benefit pay expendable trust fund as previously established. Said funds are recommended by the town auditor to be used to pay for benefits accrued by town employees and redeem when they leave employment with the town of Alton in accordance with the town personnel and policy. Loring, I think to all the discussion, we're going to decrease that amount. Yes, would the you people talked about some numbers. What is the numbers you people were talking about? $10,000. I don't think 10 is going to cover it. Hmm? I don't think 10 will 15, cover it. 15000 15, I think the board would reconsider 15. Okay. So make a That's motion. the pleasure. Make a motion that we recommend $15,000 for Article 23. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? All those opposed? All right. I'm going to bring that to the board at 15. Mm -hmm. So that one's done. That's based on you got an idea who may retire. So correct? we're going to have to revote on that one then? Uh, 26. Yep. Yeah. Why, did, why didn't we vote on that? To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of ten thousand dollars. I it wasn't was, sure of my notes, but yeah. the thing is, it was uh, we we put uh, west. Uh, okay, to, for the purpose of improving Alton Bay restrooms to meet current ADD. Oh, say you took you it out. You said not to. Yeah. The question was raised about why being so restrictive. Yep. Yeah. I recommend. Uh, I. I'm sorry. Um, I, re I recommend Article Twenty. A motion. We recommend Article Twenty Six for ten thousand dollars. Second. Call, call the vote. Lawrence Tilley, aye. Mark Dekoff, yes. Steve Miller, aye. Barbara Howard, yes. Warren Kay, yes. Uh, item number 31. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $36,000 for the purpose of purchasing equipment and new or used command utility vehicle for the fire department. This sum, 36000 to come from the fund balance surplus and not an amount to be raised from new taxation. This will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 3276 and will not lapse until complete by or by December 31st, 2011. And it should be 2012. That's a typo. Did, didn't we recommend this already? We added the taking out of the fund balance. Yeah, you. I. I. My notes said that you vote at four to one one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you changed it where it's not from taxation; it's coming out of fund balance. Right. So hoping it'll pass. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. I, rec um, I recommend that um, uh, thirty-six thousand dollars for the fire department command vehicle. I motion. I'll second. Take the vote. Lawrence Tilly, yes. Mark Decoff, abstain. Steve Miller, yes. Barbara Howard, yes. Okay, yes. Okay, now you, would, you had raised serious questions about the nonprofits. Yeah. Oh, we broke them all up. The board has agreed to place them back as separate warrant articles. Okay, good. Nobody ask to join them, please. I like them better. <laughs> <laughs> Second. <laughs> You look at the pages now. Okay, I, um, I recommend Article 38 is written. Oh, a few people approve all of these. So you skip, you skip the over? first seven. I'm sorry. I'm going to vote all these down because they're not in one. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. 
Go ahead. Okay, Article 37, to see if the town will vote to raise and Article 36. 36? Yeah. See if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $8,000. $996 for the purpose of appointing the Community Action Program, which provides supplement food, fuel, utility, transportation, meals on wheels, weatherization assistance, women, infants, and children food assistance program WIC. This will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 3276. It will not lapse until completed or by December 31st, 2012. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Once Tilly, yes. Mark Decoff, yes. Steve Miller, yes. Barbara Howard, yes. Lauren Kai, yes. Article 37, see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $12,000 for the purpose of supporting the Central New Hampshire DNA and hospice. Hospice. Yep, which is a nonprofit agency that provides the health hospice care and maternal child health services. This will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 3276 and will not lapse until complete or by December 31st, 2012. So Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Yep. Aye. Aye. That's unanimous. Paul yep. Opposed. Aye, Paul. Opposed. Okay, Article 38, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $2,215 for the purpose of supporting the American Red Cross, which provides disaster relief, shelter, basic household necessities, in counseling, this is a non, this will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 3276, and will not lapse until complete or by December 31st, 2012. So moved. Second. Uh, uh, discussion for a second. The American Red Cross has not picked up their check yet. I'm going to vote against it. Mm -hmm. Hey, call the vote. Wait a second. No. It, One picked up their check this week. Even if they just picked it up this week, it's December. The money's been in there all, all year. If it was important to them, they would have got it. Mm -hmm. They would have asked for it. Well, they I know, know that there's a lot they do, but there's also a lot of funding sources. And they sources have multiple they have. funding sources. Yeah. Multiple. 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 Lawrence Tilly, no. Mark Decoff, yes. Steve Miller, no. Barbara Howard, no. Warren okay, Kai, yes. So that's three, no. to, three to two to not recommend? Correct. Article 39, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate to some of $15,000 for the purpose of supporting the Alton Community Services, which provides a food pantry and assistant program for fuel, prescriptions, utilities, and housing in close coordination with the Alton Welfare Department. This will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 3276. It will not lapse until complete or by December 31st, 2012. So moved. Second. I'd like to offer an amendment that we add $2,215. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> okay, to the Alton Community Services, who really, and put it back right in our community. That's right. I'll second that right. motion. Well, you either have to go back you, to the board. You're, you're, you're in yay or nay. You're not a. Hmm? Oh, we can't do that. You're a yay We're or a yay nay. Or nay. They do this part. Okay. okay. Would, you do, would you mind going back to the board? This is their request from this organization. Oh. This is a request. This is the money they requested from this organization. Okay. You want to bump it up more than what they requested, correct? You don't want to yeah, do we don't want to do that. Okay, no I mind. withdraw my second. Okay, I just thought we could, we could easily just keep the money right into town. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just clarifying. That's what you're doing. If you want to do it, fine. I want to do it, but if it's too big a deal. No, it's no big deal. <laughs> it's no big deal. I'm just telling you that's mm -hmm. what you're doing. Okay, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay. What was the number? Seventeen. Seventeen thousand two hundred and fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. So we got to table this one, right? Who would turn that down? Seventeen thousand two hundred and fifteen dollars. No. Well, why don't you vote? Is it? Is it? Are you all supporting this new number? Mm-hmm. Then why don't you vote it? All right. And. Then we'll, we'll come, either the board will say yes or okay. no. Okay. There's a Just for a discussion. What happens if it, if it goes, um, if the Red Cross passes, what even though we're not recommending it, hmm. if, oh. the people, if the people pass it, then we're, we're $2,215 yeah. in addition. Two. I think so. it would be better just not to apply the tax burden if yeah. people don't want to okay. vote for I the Red Cross. Yeah. Okay. I think leave it as what they requested. Makes more sense. Spirit is there. Though. All right, so the motion so is what originally was for the 15,000. Around the world. The motion's okay. for the 15th. I'll second that. Yeah. All right. Call the vote. 
Lawrence Tilly, yes. Mark D. Coff, yes. Dave Miller, yes. Barbara Howard, yes. Lauren Guy, yes. Article 40, see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $409 for the purposes of supporting Medication Bridge Prescription Program, which is a not-for-profit volunteer program that provides assistance to residents in need of prescriptions in the coordination with the Alton Welfare Department. This is, will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 3276. Will not elapse until complete by December 31st, second. Moved is read. Second. Take the vote. Mark Decoff, yes. Steve Miller, yes. Barbara Howard, yes. Lauren Kay, yes. Lawrence Tilly, yes. Article <coughs> 41, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $1,000. $500 for the purpose of supporting New Beginnings, which provides 24-hour crisis support for domestic sexual assault victims, operates a shelter, and provides counseling. This is, will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 3276 and will not lapse until completed, completed or by December 31st, 2012. Moved is read. Second. A um, quick discussion, and this is actually just sort of a general for next, you know, not to touch this one, but for next year, could you ask the organizations to provide what percentage of their budget is for administrative overhead? Um, we did that. We have that on, information. We do have that on a regular, okay. All right, I apologize. Some of these I'm more familiar with than others because of. Uh, did we get the complete listing of that information? Because I don't remember. <clears throat> I don't yeah. think we yeah, only we got packet. some of it. Oh, a thick packet. Yep. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. It was part I of the whole, it, out. it was part of the big package. I, I do have the big package, but yeah. Ah. Then I handed out some more in the last meeting. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, call Sorry the vote. Yep. Look, Lawrence Tilly, yes. Mark Decoff, yes. Muller, yes. Howard, yes. Okay, yes. Article 42 to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of ten thousand seventy-six dollars for the purpose of appointing Genesis, which provides. Mental health care to area residents, service for children, elders, along with other emergency services. This will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 3276 and will not lapse until complete or by December 31st, 2012. Moved is read. Second. Wait, this was, says it was not recommended by the Budget Committee. Mm. We didn't recommend this. Well, no, that must be a typo from last year. Where? No, we did recommend it last year, but... Right here. Oh. Not recommended. We did Just have a typo. big discussion about this because they get they get multiple multiple um, funding sources and they only serve a certain few and they're in our school and they're getting paid to be in our school and I think that's a duplication of services. They already so. have a vote on that then. Okay. So well, let's take oh, another oh, vote. Couldn't to, have. No. no, there wasn't a. That's because a, it was all that, punched in one article. There was a typo on that, Steve. That's the only thing I can think of. So take the vote. Mark D. Coff, yes. Barbara Howard, no. Lauren Kai, yes. Steve Mellon, no. Lawrence Tilly, yes. So that's 3 2. Yep. Okay, Article 43 to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate to sum of uh, $2,000 for the purpose of supporting caregivers' transportation, which provides free transportation to handicapped, elder, and other residents needing assistance with all these services provided by volunteers. This will be a non lapse appropriation per RSA 3276 will not lapse until complete or by December 31st, 2012. Moved is read. Second. Lawrence Tilly, yes. Mark Decoff, yes. We have a discussion on oh, that? Discussion. For yep. a minute. Um, first of all, if you are a Medicaid recipient, you can get uh, Medicaid will pay for transportation to your doctor's appointments 20 times a year. And then we, this, I just brought in information tonight for the town. Um, Community Action started a new volunteer program for free free rides, and then it would include haircuts, shopping, um, doctor's appointments, visiting family, and that's a volunteer program where the volunteer drivers get reimbursed their mileage, and um, it's all coordinated. And this so, is the same thing. They don't get paid other than mileage. This is just the mileage. Right. And it's, there's several, I know there's quite a few people in, here in Alton who volunteer as drivers. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a joint one with here in Wolfboro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Call the vote. <coughs> Decoff, yes. Howard, <coughs> yes. Lawrence Tilly, yes. Barbara Howard, yes. Lauren Kai, yes. Article 44 to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $500 for the purpose of supporting CASA, court appointed special advocate, which provides advocacy for abused and neglected children. This will be a non lapsing. 
appropriation per RC 3276 and will not lapse until complete or by December 31st, 2012. Moved is read. Second. Miller, yes. Mark D. Coff, yes. Lawrence Tilly, yes. Warren Cow, yes. Barbara Howard, yes. Article 45, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $2,400 for the purpose of supporting Appalachian Mountain Team projects. This will be an on-lapse in appropriation per RSA 3276 and will not lapse until complete or by December 31st, 2011. Should be 12, that's a typo. 12. Moved is corrected. Second. And we had eight children in that program last year, I think yeah. it was said. Yeah. Call the vote. Lawrence Tilly, yes. Mark D. Coff, yes. Lauren Kai, yes. Barbara Howard, no. <laughs> Stephen Miller, yes. Four one. Yep. Article 46, see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $2,500 for the purpose of supporting children and family services. This will be an on-lapse in appropriation per RSA 3276 and will not lapse until complete or by December 31st, 2012. Moved is read. Second. Hello, yes. Mark D. Coff, yes. Barbara Howard, no. Lauren Kai, yes. Lawrence Tilly, yes. So that's four to one, two? Yeah. Article 47, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $1,000 for the purpose of supporting Greater Lakes children Advisory Center. This will be a non-lapse in appropriation per RSA 3276 and will not lapse until complete or by December 31st, 2012. This is, Moved a, new one, right? yep. this is a brand new one. Moved as read. Second. Discussion? Yeah. Yep. Anybody know what this is? How much money can we spend on kids? Give me a break. It's redundant. This is a rep repetitive, just like the, the one just before. It's a repeat of services, and it's just a niche where people are justifying their jobs. And it's yes, it's a lovely thing to have for the children, but it's not a, ne a necessity. And if they want to get kids together, to have play group. Let the parents do it. We I don't think the tax is that what this need. is play group? Basically. Well, <laughs> I gave you. This, it's in your packet. There's a yeah. write up. I don't. I don't know anything about them. All right, call the vote. Mark D. Koff, no. Barbara Howard, no. Miller, no. Warren Kai, yes. Lawrence Tilly, no. So it's one to four. One yes, four no. So it's not recommended. No. Nope. Nope. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Jeez. That's all there is? Did you have uh, updated sheets? Yeah. Oh, did you see where uh, Rochester is now using Ford Focuses for uh, cruises? Are you sure it's not the, the isn't a Ford Interceptor? No, they've got Ford Focuses. My wife went to the Nutcracker in Rochester and she looked over and there's three Focuses are used as cruises. This is the insurance. Lights in the grill. Thank you. Yeah. Ford Focuses. How can they possibly get somebody in the back seat? Oh, they don't have, you, they've got enough cars that they can you. call somebody for the back seat. I look at to catch anybody to put them in the back seat. Hey, uh, we did the sidewalk. Oh, huh? oh yeah. Yeah. Well, you at least the focus that. keeps you uh, from what doing uh, getting I'll sucked do. into that. It is so. Okay. It's be, I don't know what I have to stop here. Early intervention. If a child is born with any question at one on their health. This is, you've already voted. Uh, this is the final numbers. Uh, if there's any corrections, you'll. You let it. Let me know. Yeah, I'll go through it. What the first page is is just a summary, based on percent. What you have recommended is actually less than last year's mm -hmm. 2011 budget by uh, almost eighteen thousand dollars. What was the default budget? This is the default. That was his default budget. Yep. Okay. Um, next page is then the so what the selectmen had recommended. And then there's a the budget. Now, this is actually $7,692 even less than you had voted because we got uh, the state locked in on a bid for gasoline. Yep. So we went back in and decreased uh, seven of the gasoline lines. Nice. For 7692 
Would the budget committee like to support that with a motion? I motion we support the reduction of 7,692 on the fuel line. Second. All those in favor, Mark D. Cobb, yes. Lawrence Tilly, yes. I, yes. But now we're official. So, so as of right now, unless this is a good, you this get, is a good budget. So this will be the the budget, unless I hear from you, that we'll prepare for the public hearing. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, you do what? The MS was it? The MS seven? Uh, oh, it's a long ways <laughs> off. All right. That not until your public hearing. And our public hearing is January 10th or 3rd. It's third. the 3rd. No, it's not that far away. No, it isn't. Uh, that's not far away. No, Jan no. January 3rd. And then January 10th is the... Did uh, we do the mailing on that, Peg? I can't remember. I know you were talking with Mary. I the posting? Thought, yeah, I thought they took care of it. Right. We'll double check on that tomorrow. So what? I've got a form i got to fill out? Do I? Not yet. Okay. This, you mean the MS-7? Yeah. Right. Uh, we'll get you the form, uh, and Paulette has it on a computer. January 1st. Hey, would you make part of the record that you're doing a great job on the minutes? Oh, yes. Thank, thank you. you. There, that's the, no. the best. Oh, thank that's you. really a good job. Okay, put that down. We want you back, <laughs> ne we want you back next year. Right. Right. No, I just show. want to see oh, if you want to this week. Raid, you gotta show it <laughs> uh, any uh, public input? Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Take a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, aye. 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 aye.